Hello students, in this video we'll discuss finding the area between the graph of two functions or the area between two curves. If we're given two functions, y equals f of x, that's function number one, and y equals g of x, that's function two, on the interval a to b, then let's plot these functions. So let's take a look at what they look like in general. And I'm just going to draw a picture where a and b are on the positive x-axis. There's the y-axis, there's the x-axis, there's the point a, there's the point b. And for simplicity, I'm just going to draw the function f to be the function on top. That's y equals f of x. And then there's a function on the bottom. That's y equals g of x. And I'm after the question of finding this area. That's the area that I want. And so let's think about this. We'll approach this problem by breaking this region into two parts. What we'll do is we'll say, OK, we have the x-axis and the y-axis again. There's A and there's B. And this time, I'm only going to draw F like this. That's our graph, y equals f of x. And we know from Calc 1 how to find this area, the area that's above the x-axis and below the graph. So this area over here, let's call this area number 1. So area number 1 is the integral from a to b of f of x dx. Now what we'll do is we'll draw the same picture. Now I'm just going to draw g of x. There's the x-axis, there's the y-axis, there's a, and there's b. And then I'll draw the graph of g of x. Looks something like that. And we know that's y equals g of x. I know how to find this area over here. I'm going to call that area number two, area two. So area two is the integral from a to b of g of x dx, again by calc 1. And so now what we can think of is we can say, well, what we've done here is we can put in that area 2 right over here in our original picture. There it is. And so it looks like if I take area number 1, area number 1 would be this whole area over here, this green area and this pink area. And if I subtract off that pink area, so if we do area number one, so area number one minus area number two, what that will do is that will take the area number one right over here, and then it will subtract off this little portion over here, which would be area two, and that gives us exactly the area in between those two curves. So this will be the area between the curves. And so if we write this down, what we'll have over here is this is going to be the integral from a to b of f of x dx minus the integral from a to b of g of x dx. And so we get the result that the area between y equals f of x and y equals g of x on a, B, the interval A, B, is equal to the integral from A to B of f of x, the top function, minus the bottom function, g of x, dx. This, of course, is our top function. This is our bottom function. So oftentimes what we'll say is we'll say the area between two functions or two curves is the integral of the top function minus the bottom function. And it's easier to see this geometrically than it is analytically, so we always want to remind ourselves that the picture is what gives us the proof that the area between two curves is the integral of the top function minus the bottom function. Thank you very much.